Okay, guys, so this is topic 21, electromotive force and potential difference. Uh, again, this would just be one video because it's short and there's only seven pages in the notes. Fairly basic stuff. Again, a lot of it I'm just going to skim over because it's kind of stuff you already know. Um, right, so... No, I need to read and worry about that. I just kind of talking about kinetic energy in the in as it travels around, okay? Um, high potential energy is at the battery. Low potential energy is as, as about to go back into the battery, basically, okay? Um, potential energy, kinetic energy, okay? You know all that. All right, so... Potential difference between two points in a circuit is the work done in moving one coulomb from one point to another. In other words, the equation W equals QV. Okay, so if they ask you what's the potential difference, it's basically the amount of work done in moving, see, the work done in moving a coulomb from one point to another. So that's why it's the potential difference. Okay, all right. Um, power, the rate, there's two definitions, the rate at which work is done or the rate at which energy is transferred, okay? Either or. Now, the reason it's important, kind of nice to know both, is it'll make it a lot easier when you're trying to answer questions later on. Um, so energy is, or power is, the rate at which work is done. If you remember, work is in joules, okay? And the rate at which energy is transferred, okay? So it basically means the same thing. Work done is energy transfer, okay? All right, so... Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, okay. Power is voltage times current. That's important. Okay, so power is voltage times current as well. Okay, so that's the equation you'll find in your log tables. All right, so it's the rate at which work is done. Okay, um, and it's also voltage by time. Okay, all right. Uh, right, so this is going to again tie in. So in the previous one, we said that in series, current is all the same. So in a series circuit, I equals I equals I. That did not come out that last one. Okay. Now, for voltage, it's the opposite. For voltage in a series, the voltages add up. As you can see here, the total voltage, all right, is V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay. So in a series circuit, all the voltages add up in between each part. Okay. In parallel, however, okay, the voltages are all the same. So with current, I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals I total. Here, V1 equals V2 equals V3, all right? So they're the opposite. So the current and the voltage are the opposite of each other. So for the current, in a series, the current is the same, the voltages add up. In a parallel, the currents add up, the voltages are the same. And that's it, okay? That's basically the principle here. This will come back to you later on, okay? Measuring potential difference, you use a voltmeter. Please say voltmeter multimeter won't really be accepted okay um simple cell don't really worry too much about it you can read that there in your own time you want to pause the video and read through it but it's not overly complicated okay batteries have evolved a lot more since this okay all right whoa, whoa okay uh where were we all right batteries connected in series so if a number of batteries are connected in series with the positive terminal of one connected never terminal of the other you basically just add up all right so for example and the best example i have is here so we've uh uh, lamp a torch okay and you have one two three so the total voltage here is 1.5 plus 1.5 plus 1.5 okay which gives us 4.5 all right so that's kind of the idea is that when you connect batteries in series you add up the voltage of each battery that's how you get the total voltage of it then okay all right <clears throat> so one of the questions we have one two three four so four questions we'll fire two and we're done. That's it. So this topic, as I said, is very, very short. Okay. So potential difference across a bulb is 10 volts. How much heat and light energy is given out from the bulb when, all right, so we've got three different things. So um, QA, QB, QC, one coulomb, six coulombs. 1 by 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. All right. Now, how much heat and light energy is given out? Okay. So we're heat given out. Means transferred. 
you see, which means work done. Okay? Heat, light, given out, means energy was transferred, therefore work has been done. Heat and light, given out, work done. Okay? Remember that. Now I'm going to have to rub that out because I need the, the space. Okay? So therefore, we're looking at W. Okay? W equals W. So for A, and I'm just going to give the equation once and fire in all the values. W equals Q A V. W equals 10 joules. For B, W equals Q, B, V. W equals 60 joules. For C, W equals Q, C, V. 1 by 10 to minus 5 joules. And there you go. There are your three answers. Okay? Right, problem two. An electric motor operating at 220 volts. So again, I'll write everything out. Has the current of four amps. Calculate the power of the motor. They just tell us straight out. Calculate the electrical energy used by the motor in one hour. Time. Energy used. What's another word for that? Energy used, energy transferred. Work done. Okay? So first things first, find P. Very easy. P equals IV, which should give us a value of 880 watts. And then you just simply change that on your left-hand side. You see? What is the, uh, the energy used, the work done? Okay. Did we give that there now a second ago? Okay, so work done, uh, we have is QV, we don't have Q, we do have power. Ah, okay, so the equation I used here, I use this, W equals power by time. I don't think that's in the log tables, so where did I get it? All right, so what happens is we have W equals QV, P equals VI, so I basically go P over I equals V, this is how you get it, P over I equals V, and I sub that in up here for this, so W equals Q, P over I, okay, W equals QI, P, okay, how do we get time in there, simple, Q equals I, T, so therefore time is equal to Q over I. So therefore, W equals PT. Okay? Now I know what you're thinking. What the hell just happened there? If you didn't cop that, okay? Work done equals power by time. Okay? Um, it might actually even be in the log tables, but that's where it kind of comes from. I can't remember. I don't know my log tables with me. As I said before, uh, I lent them to a student and they decided they preferred if they had them forever and never gave it back. And that's the end of those. Um, so is there a way you could figure it out without it? Mm. No, I think you just have to kind of, well, you could, let me see. You could have got work done equals Q times V. Q times V. You need to find a Q value, so you look at all your Qs, you wouldn't really have enough. Um, but you would have Q equals IT, so you could have got, yeah, you could have got Q from here, actually. I made that way more complicated. Yeah, all right. So another way you could have done it, that's what I did. I just said, all right, so I basically did that to get my P equals, W equals PT, and just solve it. You could, of course, also done, uh, what do we say there, work done. Uh, let me see, I've got to go back to my notes to find that equation because it's out of my head. Yeah. Equals QV, find Q, Q equals IT, um, Q equals 4 times 60 by 60. I am much easier actually, I don't know why I made that way more complicated. I do that sometimes, I often make find things that are way more complicated than they need to be. 
Um, generally in physics, it doesn't matter how complicated you make the answer once you get the answer. So um, this is much easier. All right, so let's say you, you need to find, we have V, we need to find Q, we need to find, uh, so there you go, okay? And then sub your Q value in here. So work done equals four times 60 times 60 times four. Oh, no, not four, four is just 220. And we should end up with a value of three, one, six, eight, zero, zero, zero joules. Okay, three million, 168,000 joules okay now if you did it my way and just said work done power by time you get the same thing because it would have been uh, 880 times uh, 60 by 60 all right so it's all one okay so that is actually much easier i don't know why i did it the more complicated way anyway there you go that's that okay problem three so there I was telling you these are all easy, and then I confused myself. So the potential difference between two points in the circuit is 10 volts, so V, oops, 10 volts. Um, how much energy is released between the two points? Oh, sorry, I didn't realize that this rolled up. I'm reading off my own notes here. How much energy is released between the two points when a current of five amps flows for five minutes? All right. And number two, when one coulomb passes one of the points. Energy released, energy released, energy transferred, okay. Yeah, energy released, energy transferred, work done. Okay, so how much energy is released between the two points? W equals QV. Um, now, what I did here was I actually did W equals uh, PT again, because I know that equation. So I just found my power, which is V times I, and then I subbed that in, okay? But let's let's go the other way. Let's say you didn't know that, okay? So I don't have the maths done out here for this one, but I have the answer, it'll be fine, okay? So we have V, we need to find Q. What is Q? Q equals IT which equals five times five times 60. So we're gonna do this, see this work out as well. If not, I'll go back and do it the other way. So five times five times 60 equals one five oh oh. So W equals uh, that times 10. Yep, there we go, works out the exact same. There you go. So how much energy is released, how much work is done? 15,000 joules. Um, a current of five amps flows, oh yeah, sorry, uh, part two then, that's part one. Uh, one coulomb passes one of the points. So how much energy is released when one coulomb passes? Well, that's fairly straightforward for us then. W equals QV, where one times 10 equals 10 joules. And there you go, done. Okay, all right, problem four. Three batteries of EMFs 2, 3, 12 are connected in series with a bulb. If the plus terminal, blah, 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 blah. Um, and if the current of the bulb, right, so, oh, wait, okay, all right, my tablet decided it wanted it to jump up that way. So the current equals two amps. The overall voltage is gonna be two plus three plus 12, which equals, um, that's uh, 15, 17. Find the power dissipated in the bulb. And there you go. That's that. That's the end of that topic. We're done. Okay. Again, guys, nice and short. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, or you can leave them on the Edmodo page and I'll get back to them. Okay.